In this video, I am going to explain to you the concept of compound interest. Okay? Now, you must have seen in some of our earlier videos around simple interest. What happens is, let's say there is a lender and there is a borrower. I mean, everyone needs to borrow money for some reason or the other in today's world. Let's say the lender lends an amount of 1000 to the borrower at 6% interest rate. 6% is very low, it normally doesn't work. For 2 years at simple interest or compound interest. Okay, let's take three years, not two. That will make the calculations even more easy. Now, what happens in a simple interest is that, let's say you have 1000 of principal, this amount is called the principal, and is normally denoted by P. So the principal is 1000 into 6%, so 6 divided by 100. 1, 2, 1, 2, 6 into 10 gives me 60. So the interest amount is 60 rupees. Okay? So, simple interest is 60. This is year 1. The simple interest is 160. The compound interest also remains 60. And this is only for year 1. What happens is that when you move on to year 2 and you calculate your interest, in case of simple interest, this amount, the principal, the principal amount on which the interest is calculated remains as 1000 if the sum is borrowed on simple interest. So again, just like you did in the first year, you divide, you multiply this by 6, divided by 100 and your interest comes to 60. Okay? But unlike this, in a compound interest, what happens is that principal at the end of the year is equal to the original principal, original principal, plus the interest accrued during the year, which is 60. So the principal in this case will become, instead of 1000, 1060 here. So the change is that the principal amount changes in case of compound interest. So every year what I do is to compute my principal, I take the opening principal which for year 2 was the principal as on year 1 and to that I add the interest during the year. So now when I calculate the compound interest for this second year it will be 1060 into 6 divided by 100. This is by 2. Okay. So this comes into fraction. I'll just do the calculation. It comes to 318 divided by 5, which is 7, sorry, 6, 3.60. So have you noticed the difference? The difference. The difference lies in the fact that whereas the interest in case of simple interest for year 2 was 60, for compound interest it was 63.6. Similarly, for year 3, the computation for simple interest remains the same, but for compound interest, the principle for compound interest purpose becomes the principle in the beginning which was 160 plus the interest accrued during the particular year. So this becomes 1120.60. To this you multiply it by 6 divided by 100 and you get your interest number. Now if you have to make these calculations for a longer period of time, let's say for 10 years you have to do it, you will actually go mad. Because you can't keep on doing this indefinitely. 
Okay. So what you normally do is that there is a formula for the calculation of compound interest. The formula is that the amount at the end of n years will be equal to the principal okay, into 1 plus r divided by 100. And then you put this to the power n. So r is basically your rate of interest. n is the number of years. And principal is the original sum that is given out on loan. Now there are variations to this which we will take up as we take the problems on compound interest.